Once again this year, the Phoenixville School District made math a fun and competitive event among the elementary schools. Math 24 was on the minds of these young scholars as they took part in a two-hour event that put their numerical dexterity to the test. On this Phantom TV segment, we take a look at this year's Math 24, speaking with teachers and administrators about the goals of the evening. So join us. The stars of tonight are the children. And I want to congratulate first with a big round of applause for our 24 champions. Just to give you a little history, each building had element had building level tournaments. For example, my school, I had about 70 fourth graders compete and about the same number of fifth graders, fourth grade, and East Pike the same kind of thing. So out of those, we took the top eight fourth graders and the top eight fifth graders, and when you play 24, it's how many cards you're running, the points those cards are worth. So those people are, or those children are with us here tonight. They are competing amongst themselves. Just to give you a little breakdown of the competition, we have medals for fourth and fifth grade. We have a first, second, and third place medal, gold, silver, and bronze. We are also tonight playing building wide. So although we will play for medals and we will have a championship round after rounds one and two, we will have a building wide competition. There's a plaque, you may have seen it as you came in. We started it last year. The winning building has their name inscribed on the plaque and the plaque travels with them, a la the Stanley Cup. Uh, <laughs> to that building and gets to stay in that building for a year. So we've had it at Schuylkill for a year since last year's Google was the champion, but maybe Barclay tonight or East Pike, but we shall see. So even if a child does not make it to the championship round, they are still playing for their building, so it's still very serious. We will be playing two rounds to start. The children have been seated randomly. They all drew a number to seat at a table. There are proctors at each table. Children, the proctors are the judges at the table, and their word is law, okay? Which means we don't argue with the proctors. But I know none of our, none of our famous little kids argue with the proctors. Um, but the proctors are seated with the children. They have stacks of 15, 24 cards. The object of the game, there's four numbers on the card. You have to get those four numbers to 24 using all four numbers, but only using them once. You say your last sentence first. So when they tap the card with one, two, or three fingers, they might say eight times three is 24. That has to be correct. Okay, they have three seconds to say that. Then they have 15 seconds to walk the proctor through how they got to that final solution. If it is correct, they get the cards. There are one dot, two dot, and three dot cards. One dot's are the easiest, two dot the harder, and the three dots are the hardest. Obviously, we get a lot of three dot cards, that's an advantage. Okay, so we always tell the children to practice not just the one dots, but the three dots. There are also single digit and double digit cards. So there's a little mix up there. Okay? So it's a lot of mental math. It's a wonderful game. We use it a lot in the classroom. It really sharpens the minds. The children practice and they get better at it, and it really helps their math skills. So um, at the end of this round, they each have a yellow card. They will put their name, grade level, and building. They will put their total for round one, the proctor will initial it, and then they will go to Dr. Cox, who's standing over there, Mrs. Champagne Lee and Mrs. Renzo Lee from Schuylkill, and they will draw another number, be reseated, and do round two. At the end of round two, we're gonna take a 15 minute intermission. The children are gonna go with some teachers to a room, we have some snacks and water for them that they can sit and you know, de-escalate for a second, um, and then we'll, we will determine who makes it into the final championship rounds, okay? And we will have 12 fifth graders and 12 fourth graders who will compete on this side for the championship, and again, the other students who didn't quite make it, they're still playing for their building, okay? The last thing I have to say is, uh, we're very excited that Chester County, for the first time, is having a county-wide 24 tournament and it's going to be held May 1st. The top two point earners for their elementary building will travel to that county-wide tournament. Uh, so we're looking forward to that too, and having school, or not school, I mean Phoenix will represent us for you. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> uh, But 
But anyway, I think I've covered everything. One thing when we are watching, how many people have ever been to a chess tournament? Anybody? Okay, what can you tell me about a chess tournament? Quiet. Very quiet. We tell the children they have to be quiet at the tables. We ask the audience to do the same. If you have cell phones, if you could please silence them, put them on vibrate. It's very serious stuff for the kids, they, but they do need to concentrate. So I ask that the audience stays very quiet. Okay, and with that, Proctors, we are going to be doing the white sides of the cards. So make sure you are on the white side, and then when I say white, in the center of the card. Okay, Proctors, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, looks good. Begin round. 16 plus 8 equals 24. 4 times 4 equals 16. 7 plus 1 equals 8. 16 plus 8 equals 24. Times one is one, five minus one is four, six times four is one, four. Thirty-four minus ten equals twenty-four. Thirteen minus eleven equals two. Two times seventeen equals thirty-four. Thirty-four minus ten equals twenty-four. Very good. The Math 24 tournament, I believe, improves the students' skills in many ways. The uh, fact fluency the students develop is incredible. Um, their number sense and just understanding the operations and how the different numbers can be related and multiplied, divided, and subtracted to get to 24 is remarkable. As we get closer to the Math 24 tournament, the excitement in the entire building, not just in the fourth and fifth grade classes, but the entire building grows um, with the younger siblings talking about it. Um, the students ask to borrow their, um, the classroom Math 24 cards to play during lunch. Um, they play it during recess. They'll take the cards outside, or especially during indoor recess. Um, they're just very enthusiastic about the tournament, and they want to do the best job they can do. It's, uh, it's really neat to see their excitement. 8 times 3 equals 24. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 9 minus 1 equals 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 6 times 4 equals 24. 8 minus 3 equals 5. 5 plus 1 equals 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. Okay, good evening. I'm going to talk a little bit about 24. And it is a card game that really benefits children as far as their mental math skills. In all three elementary buildings, Barclays, Schuylkill, and East Pikeland, the children play the game. Uh, and there's usually a group of four. You can play as, up to four with as many as two. Um, but the, the, ben the real goal of the game, the educational goal, is to get four numbers to 24, and you got to do it all in your head. And you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, but it really sharpens those mental math skills. When the children know the solution, they tap the card, and they have to say their last sentence first. So that's a little challenging. So they would say, for example, uh, 24 times 1 is 24. So you ask how I get that, and basically we would do uh, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 times 8 is 24, 24 times 1 is 24. So that's just one way. There's multiple ways to solve the cards. The children practice all the time. Uh, we do it in our math classrooms. It's part of stations sometimes when the children are working in groups. Uh, rainy day, indoor recess, those kinds of things, and kids just keep them under their desk and it sharpens their skills. And we have the top eight fourth and fifth graders from each elementary school here tonight for the district tournament. And from that, we will take the top two point earners from each building to go to the countywide district tournament. The benefits of having 24 in a competitive tournament style is children are playing against other children who are really on the same level mathematically and who have been practicing very hard. The one thing I tell children is you don't have to be a great mathematician to be a great 24 player. It's just like golf or football or other sports that you practice, practice, practice and you get better at it. So uh, competition is good. 
But the nice thing is not only can they win individual medals tonight, but they also compete as a team or as a building against each other. So there's a lot of camaraderie there too. So we're very proud of the children and that's a great benefit for them. I'm Jenna DeLeon and I teach second grade at Schuylkill Elementary. I'm Brittany Roth and I also teach second grade at Schuylkill. I feel like the Math 24 challenge really gives students a step up on their mental math skills and really makes them stronger with their math skills and we really see that translate into the classroom. I think it's um, a chance to kind of get all their skills combined and be more rigorous and actually challenge themselves and um, they see it here, it's okay to fail, it's okay to mess up. Um, it just makes them better as a student and in the classroom as well. In the classroom, uh, you just see them kind of practicing. It's nothing, there's no um, kind of instant gratification here. They kind of practice their skills, but actually apply it to a challenge where they're going to um, almost win something or win for their building. So it's nice to see them all come together, see new students, see new faces from different buildings and kind of um, challenge each other and then ultimately hopefully win. Um, I think that they really get excited um, to just use their skills in a way that they're competing with their classmates and with their peers. Uh, I think, you know, again, it's great connections for them to make with other buildings and kind of bring all of those skills together and see them being really put to use and it kind of really puts those skills that you're working with them in the classroom in a manner that they're able to apply and use in, you know, a big fourth grade event and fifth grade event. One of the greatest benefits, as I see it in connecting to the curriculum with Math 24, is the ability for students to think very quickly, as well as understand how math is used in so many ways in life. And as I listen to the students talk about their preparation, they've shared the insights that they have in using these skills in many areas. That, that quick paced thinking, the ability to build fluency into their computation, and the fact that it's held in an arena that's typically for athletics, also builds the opportunity for students to compete in an arena that's typically an athletic arena in an academics uh, vein, which is wonderful. And it's great to see the student success. From a district perspective, one of the um, initiatives and program changes we've made beginning this school year is changing our model from a traditional math program to the Singapore model, which is um, known as Math in Focus, is the program that we're currently using, which takes the, the traditional approach of teaching mathematics and expects students to apply their mathematical knowledge and develop a conceptual understanding of math. So not only to arrive at the correct answer, but to understand the processes involved in getting that answer and how that applies to other disciplines as well as in everyday life. So one of the things we've noticed with being proficient in conceptual math is the need to increase fluency that that does not become a stumbling block in computation. So um, seeing the wonderful students we have in front of us today really reinforces the fact that the change in the program has benefited the district as a whole, and we will only continue to grow in conceptual understanding of math as well as increase fluency in computation. From East Clayton, bronze medals, Scout Rumble.
fifth grade from Scruple Elementary, Jack Crowley. Smile big. All right, guys, ready? <laughs> Congratulations. One, two, three. There Stay there. Go. Let me do one more. One, two, three. All right. All right. So we told our students when they started out that if they worked really hard in practice, they would get the results. And the back here is the results. So we're really proud of everyone who tried and our team here tonight. Very exciting. 